France is reeling after a police officer and his wife have been murdered in their home near Paris before being shot dead by officers who rescued the couple's three-year-old son unharmed in a later police raid. At the home of 25-year-old La Rossi Albalas' home, police found a hit list that included journalists, police officers and celebrities. Abala filmed the attack live and streamed it on Facebook. At one point he's heard saying, I don't know what I'll do with the boy. He also rants about Euro 2016 football championship, saying it will end up a cemetery. Here in Britain, the terror threat has not been raised and remains at severe, according to a counterterrorism officer. However, patrols are expected to increase. Londoners say they're concerned about the terror threat. Anyone at any moment, any kind of person, um, you know, they don't have to look like they're Muslim or whatever, could at any point uh, do something really, really awful. It's been there the whole time, it's loomed over and it's kind of just become background noise in a sense, so no, not particularly. I wouldn't say it affects me on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course I'm worried that it might, you know, happen, but it's not there all the time. The killings come just three days after the launch of the month-long football tournament, where French forces are expected to keep millions of soccer fans safe. It comes in a difficult year for French forces, who have already had to contend with two militant attacks and regular street protests. 42,000 police officers have been deployed just for the Euro 2016 football champion, meaning the police forces are already stretched to capacity for regular policing. Mandy Clark, WEON, London.